It is an error to lock down the church in a moment like this. Where people are supposed to come and be healed, where people are supposed to come and find hope and encouragement, it's an error. And you cannot sit down and be comfortable if you have the Holy Ghost seeing this. How can you? You cannot sit down and relax when Mount Zion has been taken over, hiding under the name of preventive measure, hiding under the name of uh, social distancing. Who told you that that applies to the church? The only church it applies to is the church of Satan, where the Holy Ghost is not in control. The only church it applies to is the church where Jesus is not the center of their worship. Because if we two or three are gathered in his name, God is there. My friend, coronavirus will never survive in the presence of God. If we two or three are gathered, God is there. My friend, it's impossible for the sick to come and go back the same. This is the problem that is God is using indirectly to expose the backsliding church. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, look at us. Oh, by his stripes we are healed. Show that you believe it now. You shall lay hand on the sick and they recover. This is a good time to prove it. Sure. Yeah. Instead of running around like cowards, hiding because of a, a ordinary virus, this is the time to tell the people, our God is a healer. Our God can heal the sick. Our God is the solution. They are vulnerable now. They are looking for help. They are looking for answers. They are looking for people who will tell them the truth. And yet, the church is locked down. People are dying. People are dying. Where is the church? Where is the church? Where is all these flamboyant bishops? With their big crosses. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? all these apostles and bishops and uh, uh, general overseer? Why is nobody talking? Why is nobody calling on the name of Jesus? Why is nobody pleading for mercy, saying, Lord, have mercy? Yeah. People are running, hilter, skater. People are scared. The world as we know it will never be the same again. After this thing, I'm looking for somebody to come and tell me to donate money to their ministry. I will rebuke them in the name of Jesus Christ. After this, I'm looking for somebody to write me and say, please donate. I will, I will rebuild them in the name of Jesus Christ. Because they worship God with their mouth, but their heart is far from him. Worship God with their lips, but they, are not, they don't even know him. If we are afraid of ordinary virus, how can we raise the dead? How can we cast out demons? Somebody say, oh, we have to obey the government. Listen to me. It's because you don't know the Bible. The Bible says the government of the people shall be upon his shoulders. Are you hearing me? If the government cannot make law that is against God, and you say you're obeying the government. Read your Bible. The Bible said the whole earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And the people, including the government. Everything is the Lord's You cannot. Everything 
was created for his glory, including the government. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. The government cannot make laws that are against God. They cannot. It is an error. It is an error. You cannot, uh, you cannot obey the government and disobey God. The government is under God. They are under God. So when they are making God wrong laws, it's like when they made the law that a man should marry men. Why did you not obey? You should have obeyed, no? So it's not everything that the government say and make as a law. You believe it. If what they are saying contradicts to the, root, the plan of God, then the government is wrong. 